Hello, we're back for another video on the Arcfielder map. And today we're doing the final survivor teleport locations for the Vanaland North region, which is this area on the map. It's quite a long area, but most of the teleport zones are the same as other teleport zones. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Starting off, we have Vanaland North and North, which will teleport you to the top of the map here in this location. So if we just go straight from here, so we have a nice view of the area, we want to be headed straight towards Dwarven looking entrance with the uh, looks like a dwarf outside with his fire in his hand. There are a couple of good things to talk about in this area, but you will have to fly a little bit to get there. Just head straight towards that. And here we are. This is what the entrance looks like. Very cool area. Location on the map of this cave. And the coordinates are 11.9 latitude, 62.5 longitude. In this cave, you'll find a lava pit with metal and sulfur scattered throughout. There's quite a lot of it. You could easily park a magma saw in here and farm a load of metal. There is also some unique resources that can be gathered in here. These boxes, which will give you ingots, obsidian and polymer. There's a main chamber at the back with a nice water pool. Loads of these little rooms where you can build in. And you can place structures straight down on the floor inside. At the back of the room with the lake, you also have a nice load of metal. And in the water you've got loads of save tooth salmon and a couple of clams that you can gather for silica pearls. And if you go back outside the cave you want to head to the top of this cliff right above the cave. There's a couple of little things I want to talk about here as well. You can see there's a cliff above the cave. Just here you've got a nice rare flower spawn. And if you just go up again, just on the left side of that mount is a giga spawn. You'll also find Andrew Sarka spawning there too. Alrighty so this is where we teleported in. If we just go up again. You want to be heading to the colourful tree area now, just above that waterfall. And if you're above this waterfall, you can follow this cliff down and you'll find an R Snow Owl spawn location. You can just follow the edge of this cliff, I'm sure we'll find one. Oh, there we go. And these Snow Owls can spawn all around this area here on the edge of the colourful trees. You can also spawn along this cliff running down towards the large dwarven cave we saw earlier in this location. Alrighty, we're back at the top of the waterfall. You want to go to the right this time, heading towards this mountain. Just follow the base of the mountain, hugging the edge of the cliff, ocean side. As you can see, here's the back of the cliff. Beta's cave is here. There's an alpha raptor too, so we've got to be careful. I think he's trying to eat a corpse, so we should be fine. This is the Baylor mini boss cave. 4.1 latitude, 47.5 longitude. Of course, we're right at the edge of the maps and my fingers are in the way so you can't really see. On the inside, you will find her terminal where you can summon her, a mix of high level creatures, and some nice hives that you can farm for organic polymer, bee honey, and rare flowers. And back outside her cave, if you head up the mountain, just above her cave, you will find a nice metal and crystal spawn. And if you look around the tops and edges of this mount, it is a good griffin spawn, so you'll probably find a couple of griffin spawn in here. Got two griffins just in the middle of this mountain. Alrighty, so next we have Vanaland North, Northeast, East, and Southeast, all teleporters to the exact same spot, which is this location on the map, right at the edge of the Redwoods. And if you just head up, you can see edge of the Redwoods, you want to follow these waterfalls going up to the top of the snow mountain. It will lead you there pretty easily. Once you reach the top of the mountain, you'll find some oil veins, a load of obsidian rocks, crystal, and a little bit of metal. This is also quite a close teleport zone to the green obelisk, as you can see. Next teleport zone is going to be Vanland North, South, Southwest and West. They all teleport us to the same location, which will be this location on the map. However, this teleport zone seems to always be very hostile. There's been so many times where I spawned into a Uteranus and its Carno minions and just get slaughtered before I even get into the game. I highly recommend skipping those three and just teleporting to Vanland North, Northwest. This tends to be a far safer spawn location and just teleports us just around the corner from this location which we will show you now Alrighty, so if you look at the map as you can see it's literally the same spawn location where we just were and i've just spawned here completely free of hostiles i wouldn't hold me to that because of course it's the snow biome it's hostile as anything pretty much all the time but anyway let's throw out my desmond and we'll showcase the area properly now this is a good teleport zone it teleports you on the edge of the snow biome here and of course it's a penguin spawn straight away if you head towards south direction you'll find this cave here just a little bit further down from where you teleported in 
And this is a penguin cave. There's loads of penguins in here. A nice penguin monument too. And if you head back inside the cave, if you go to the edge of these icebergs out here, just below at the bottom of the ocean, you will find artifact of the Devara cave. So this is a great location to teleport to if you're thinking about exploring that cave. As you can see, that's where we just were up there. That's my shadow of my Desmos. Cave entrance is located roughly around 3.1 latitude, 3.6 longitude. And of course, inside you'll find mobs of high level creatures. There's a lot of clams scattered throughout, so you'll be able to farm a lot of silica pearls if you wanted to. But there is definitely a lot of safer places to do that. And right at the end, you will find artifact of the Devara. Also around this area, you'll find loads of oil rocks. And also on this shipwreck, just outside the front of the cave, you'll occasionally find the odd deep sea loot crate that spawns right next to that. And starting from where we teleported in once again, you want to head towards the top of the mountain. Once you reach this first cliff, you'll normally find a few griffins that spawn around here. As you can see, there's two there now. So you spawn at the base of this pointy mountain here. If you go a bit further in, there's a little bit of metal below this mountain here. And you'll find snow owls spawn along this snow area too. So there's a couple of those around here. So it's a good area for that. Also, Hovis do spawn around here too. Of course, they're very rare. I was very surprised to see that one right there, to be honest. If you head directly kind of east direction, you will find Artifact of the Skylord Cave. So this is definitely the quickest teleport area to find that cave. If you keep heading, it is quite a distance away until you reach these coordinates and the map location. Here's the location on the map. Coordinates of this cave, 8.9 latitude, 24.7 longitude. You're looking for this entrance here is a little crack in the middle and that is the entrance to the cave and this cave is absolutely freezing but there are a nice bunch of loot crates in here loads of palovias buried in the floor so it's probably one of the more dangerous caves out of any other map and at the end of the cave you'll find this nice death trap of hostile creatures and artifact of the sky lord and there was one last thing i wanted to include going back to this starting point of the teleport zone if you go up from here you want to look to the left directly east You'll see that big cliff there with the archway underneath. Head to the top of that. And you'll find a really nice crystal spawn with a spot of metal on there. And that is going to be the end of the video and the Survivor Teleport Location series. I hope they've all been helpful in finding resources, creatures, any points of interest quicker than usual. I'll catch you all in the next video. Take care. Goodbye.